Welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm just going to be giving you a really quick introduction into watercolors. So you've decided you want to try to learn how to paint with watercolors and there's a lot of decisions you have to make, what kind of paint you should get. If you're like me, it's whatever is cheapest and whatever is around. First, let's start out with the paint. So you can go to the grocery store and get paints like this or a Crayola set. They can be anywhere from $2 to $5 to $7. I found that the watercolor sets at my grocery store were the same price as Oreo cookies. So if you're like, I can't afford art supplies, if you have Oreos, then you can't say that anymore. I use these. It's very limited color palette. This is a set that I like to use when I travel. I've used it on airplanes. It's compact. They're pricey, just like liquid watercolors can be pricey, but I love this little brush that comes with the set too. And this is just a Windsor and Newton. Set, and I think it's a travel set. Here are my liquid watercolors and I just keep them in this tray. All of these colors look the same. I should probably keep them a little cleaner. This is one of the problems with liquids is it's really easy to contaminate your colors, but I love using this set of watercolors when I'm painting something really big because I can make a huge puddle of color that I can pull from to paint. Liquid watercolors, they can be just as expensive as the solid colors. So I would just try it and see which one that you like. But I do love the variety of liquid colors that I've been able to find. Or in the description below, I'll post all of these colors just in case you wanna know what colors I have in the set that I use. Brushes, the brushes that come with the store-bought sets are usually a little hard to control. The ends are kind of frayed and it's hard to get a really good point. So you don't need to spend a ton of money investing in brushes. You can spend as little or as much as you want. These brushes, none of them were over $10. In fact, I think most of them were around five and they're all synthetic. People say that sable fur is the best for watercolor paintings. If you do not take care of your brushes, they tend to fray out and lose their point. So I have a nice point on this one and haven't taken as good of care of this one. So it's a little bit frayed in the end. So I'll show you how to take care of your brushes. These are the basic ones that I use. I use a big flat brush like this for my washes, large areas. I use this little pointed brush for my details and then I just use this one for the in-between parts. So you can get a variety of brushes. What I would do is go and get a few and experiment with it. So those are the basic brushes that I use. Really quickly, I wanna point out that you do not have to go out and buy all of this stuff. You can try to make your own paint and make a paintbrush out of your own hair. You can make your own paper. I've also, I painted an entire watercolor painting. I just used a bottle lid and it looked awesome. So you have your paint, you have your brushes, now you need some paper to paint on. So this is nicer paper. So let me tell you what these things mean on the cover. This is the brand, Arches. It's cold pressed, which means that it has kind of a more textured surface. Hot pressed tends to be a little bit smoother. And the difference is with cold pressed, it's going to suck up your paint a little bit quicker because it has so much texture. And so it's gonna dry a little bit faster than it would if it was hot pressed. The size of it, of course, how many sheets are in there. What it's made out of, cotton is great for watercolor. The weight, so this is 140 pounds, and that's usually for like a ream of 500 papers. What that means is this is gonna be really thick paper and the advantage of using thicker paper when you paint with watercolors is it's not gonna tear as easily it's not gonna get wavy when it gets wet it's not gonna buckle so this paper which I also use is mixed media paper for the brand Canson the size of it how many sheets are in there and then the weight so this is only 98 pounds so with your paper your paints and with your brushes you can really spend as much money as you want to spend here's a few other things I like to use a jar for water and I like to use paper towels or a rag and masking tape for the edges or for other techniques. Here are some examples of some paintings that I've done using these paints. And I just want to point out that these aren't the greatest. Some of these are like 10, over 10 years old. But it's, a lot of these are with my travel set that I took with me to China. So invest in the paints, experiment and see what you like. I hope this was helpful for you and hopefully I'll see you around on YouTube. Have a great day.